Do a bit with Joker being anti vaxx It's really a free country, Batman, if I have to have a vaccine passport to go somewhere, Batman. Joker! Doesn't make you a second-class citizen, just get the vaccine. See, Batman, aren't we all vaccinated? Don't we have an immune system? (laughs) (laughs) Herd immunity doesn't work. They tried that in Sweden. They're all dead, Joker. Never said I wanted to be a part of the herd, Batman. I'm a Sigma. (laughs) Walk along, Batman. First of all, Batman, shouldn't you welcome COVID? Didn't it come from a bat? (laughs) (laughs) No, they cooked one of me in a soup. (laughs) Was made in a lab in China. (laughs) <laughs> no, it wasn't Batman. We all know it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't Trump, don't you dare. It was Sleepy Joe, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, maybe we agree on something, Joker. <laughs> you think I'd go to jail if I threw bags of chili at old people? It would depend on the time. What if it was frozen cold? And just like a rock. It's so dense, it's like a black <laughs> hole. I throw it at an old person, they just get sucked into the fourth dimension. Like it's a Pokeball? What if it's not? What if it's... <laughs> <laughs> Capturing old people. Doris, I choose you! You just fucking throw a fucking Pokeball and some arthritic 90-year-old flaps out, breaks all of her hips. <laughs> all of her hips? Like just all 17. of them. <laughs> Who's, Who's that, that senile bitch? It's, it's Margaret. <laughs> Margaret used dementia, hurt, his, hurt herself in her confusion. Used, used <laughs> <laughs> Margaret uses dementia. She hurt herself in her own confusion. <laughs> if you could become anything, what would you become? Become. <laughs> become. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hidden in the, the fucking question. <clears throat> Oh, Alec Bachwin. Alec Bachwin. Alec Bachwin. <laughs> Alec Bachwin. He composed some 15th century music. <laughs> <laughs> Alec Sebastian Bachwin. Alec Bachwin. Then he then he shot the conductor with a prank gun. <laughs> You're not in three fourths time. Die. I thought it was a prop musket. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have an irrational fear of Michael Jackson as a kid. I used to think if I closed my eyes in the shower, he was going to come in and butthole pound me. I don't think that's irrational. You thought that as a kid? I still kind of think it. I'm not going to lie. Going <laughs> <laughs> to come out the drain like Pennywise or some shit? <laughs> Dude, yeah. He, he. My pronouns be like. <laughs> <laughs> My, Michael, J- Michael Jackson's pronouns are he, he and he. he, he, he. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 them. <laughs> All right, hey guys, I want to take a sec to talk about Displate, the sponsor of this video. You've heard me talk about Displate before, and that's because I'm genuinely just a huge fan of the brand. Displate makes super high quality metal posters that are really easy to set up, and they have an unreal amount of designs that you could choose from. There's over 1.4 million different designs from anything, like manga, sports, music, gaming, movies, whatever your interests are, they're gonna have you covered. But here's a few Displates that I recently picked up, and as usual, no surprise here, I was really impressed by the quality and detail that they're able to put into these. Because not only is the quality great, but just the designs are really, really cool. Creative. Like this Rin Goku on especially blew my balls off because you could see the demon that he's fighting in the reflection of the sword. I, I just thought that was really cool. And hanging your disc plates is incredibly simple. I always feel like I'm any percent speed running interior design when I hang these up. All you do is you slap the sticky paper to your wall, you attach the magnets to those, and you hang your poster on that. Literally, it's like a two minute process. And each disc plate is printed on demand and delivery is super fast. And disc plate plants one tree for every poster that gets sold. So you get to help the planet while you get that PB on fastest interior design. So yeah, if you guys are interested, and getting your own displates and you want to help support the channel use my link that is down in the description they're running a huge black friday sale right now so you can get up to 42 percent off your order depending on how many displates you pick up thanks again to display for sponsoring and let's get back into it you think the founding fathers would have objected to having their face on a currency that's ultimately put in the thongs of strippers in las vegas <laughs> You think maybe that's why they were called the Founding Fathers. They wanted to help strippers find their fathers. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh my god. god. <laughs> Yo, that's bro, this so is, good. This is, what? I still can't come to terms with the fact that Bice Baby fucking murdered someone. I still can't come to terms and conditions. They're not very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried so many times, just can't do it. I just it. can't get it up, dude.
You're just beating off to clauses. Santa misses. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people say you're getting burnt alive, or he got burnt alive. Like, does anyone give a fuck about dead people getting burnt? It's called cremation. Soup? Yeah, it's actually yeah, very but common. You, you, you know what I mean? Like, no it's my favorite says, kind of soup. <laughs> no one ever says you got burnt dead. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> kind of mm, grandma soup. Mmm, mm, good, baby. Mmm. Poof. Yes. How many times a year do you have a bowl of chili? I'm vegan. You oh, okay. okay, you can die now, <laughs> back. <Fucking poof. laughs> yeah, now I understand why you chose the name Poof. Now I know why your dad went Poof. <laughs> poof, what's your favorite letter of the alphabet? I seems like a good answer. Yeah, you're pretty self-absorbed. I didn't, I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to be to take all them plants away from the animals. Prick. <laughs> <laughs> hey Poof, let's play a game, okay? Okay. I want you to finish my sentence, alright? Oh boy. Um, and his name is... Robert. <laughs> Robert? He say Robert? This is such a bottom text meme. Robert. And his name is Robert! Robert. I'm not really a vegan. Then why did you ooh, so you're a liar now? So uh Poof, do you have any like kinks? I let my dog. Just like the boys kinks. Okay. Why again? That's I'm the sorry. First one you choose? What? See that again? See that again? I let my dog lick my dick. Really? <laughs> Says what it again you? with more enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> what do you Did your grandma hear you talking about your dog licking your penis? <laughs> yeah, she knows. She don't care. Uh, I, don't, I don't see anything wrong with that stuff, but maybe you do. You don't see anything wrong with getting your dog to sexually pleasure you? What's wrong with it? <laughs> <laughs> Man, he's checkmated me. I can't think of anything wrong with him. <laughs> yeah, he's got you in a corner. <laughs> Come on, guys, back me up. We back me up. No, Which dude, his are argument's are airtight. Time. I don't know what to say. I'm with Dan. I'm with Dan on this one. <laughs> this guy shows up to like two truths and one lie, and like says, "But I fuck my dog. I eat peanut butter, and I'm a vegan." And <laughs> and my mom is kind. <laughs> and the lie is that he's vegan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> What would happen if you ate soil? Like, what if you went to fucking Lowe's <laughs> what the fuck? and just you bombed soil and ate it? What the fuck would happen? Oh man, like, I miss stuff like this on Yahoo Answers. <laughs> you know what you're meant to do when you hit a kangaroo is pull over immediately and then reach in their pouch to see if there's a baby Joey that was Quran. injured. <laughs> Light what the sacrifice. is this? <laughs> There's just a Quran in every kangaroo pouch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a hotel room Bible. There's just a Quran in every kangaroo. Yes, a made in China Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that bit took a sharp left turn. Okay, he's just telling us a story. <laughs> Well, are you actually just supposed to check for little puppy? No, yeah, you need to look for, like, their baby. <laughs> Sometimes they'll have, like, just born jelly bean babies that, that are just still growing. Mm. And you need to take them out of the pouch and you need to kill them. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, really? God, you're supposed to kill them? You're supposed to kill them. It's like a mercy killing thing. Because they can't, they can't, <laughs> they can't live if their parent's dead. And, and you can't just, like, nurse them. So you, you spawn kill them, basically. You take them out <laughs> and you crush them under your heel. If you're not already traumatized enough from hitting a damn kangaroo, you have to perform an abortion <laughs> on the side of the road? Impromptu Jesus. abortion. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really an, it's not an abortion as much as it is a spawn kill. You Holy take him out, you put him on the ground, you just do a little tap dance on him, and then boom! God not your damn, problem, drive away. Over there. It is! <laughs> That is like as barbaric as it fucking gets. <laughs> you wouldn't step on a little jelly bean? Not a baby kangaroo. Dude, it doesn't even look like a, like a baby. <laughs> you just gotta like, I would just pick it up and just throw it as far as I could. <laughs> <laughs> just throw it back in my car that. and run it over again. <laughs> Put it right under your tire. Just <laughs> just leave it in my glove box. Hang it from my rear view mirror. Use it as a fucking air freshener. Get to the <laughs> post <laughs> office and drop it off in the box. <laughs> Place a Reese's peanut butter cup with it and give it out to a kid. <laughs> Who do you think would win in a fist fight? Joe Biden or Donald Trump? Hmm. That's a good question. 
I feel like Joe Biden, I don't know. You feel like Joe Biden would be able to? No, I was going to say, I feel like he can't clench his fists. No, he can. He can totally clench. Oh. You, you, you didn't see the, the fucking CNN town hall where oh, he stood yeah. there <laughs> with his fucking fists clenched for like two minutes? He's really angry. He forgot to take his meds. Maybe he's just, he was angry, then forgot why he was angry, and then forgot why he was angry. Anger and loop. Forgot why he was yeah. <laughs> stuck in an anger <laughs> stuck loop. Stuck in an amber loop. Why am I angry? Damn it. Now I'm mad. I can't remember. Damn it. Now I'm mad. I can't remember. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Dementia funny moments. Dementia funny moments. Dementia funny moments. <laughs> <laughs> How can everything be a man's fault when there's like 200 plus genders now? How can it still all be our fault? Yeah, true. <laughs> that just seems improbable. Yeah, dude. Statistically speaking, but hey, who says liberals are good with facts and logic? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> You love that one. <laughs> <laughs> he loves him some Ben Shapiro. So uh, statistically jokes. speaking, if there are uh, over 200 genders and uh, it's all a man's fault, then uh, it's just simply a statistical improbability. Yeah, it's only, it's only like 5% chance it's my fault. And also I can't pleasure my wife, but that's another matter. I was really confused when Nicki Minaj released that song, What Ass P Word. Because <laughs> I've never encountered a uh, P word that is wet before. Technically, nothing is ever actually wet because molecules can't touch. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever my wife complains that she's not wet, it's not my problem. It's statistically improbable. Not good. When I try to tie my shoes with the other hand, not. When I grow a pumpkin and it comes out weird shape, gourd. gourd. <laughs> 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 when I grow pumpkin, but it's just pumpkin, not gourd.